Hey, how's it going everyone? Our law client here, bringing you some more Tekken footage. This is Tekken Online Part 2. And here, you will see that I've also brought back my broken controller. <laughs> well, not quite broken, but having some serious issues with the battery placement and everything. But anyway, I jumped straight in using King, because I think I used Bob a bit too much last time, so I thought I'd maybe try and relearn my controls with King. So, um... Yeah, you'll see King over the next few matches. Hope you're happy. But actually, no, one more character, Raven. But anyway, on to the match right now. So, right now, I'm up against Elisa, and she is also, well, much like Bob, she's also a brand new character to the Tekken series. Uh, yeah, so this is her debut game as well. Um, she's actually quite a quick fighter. Oh, and by the way, if you see her arms flying off, it's not because she's, um, been dismembered, it's just because she's actually a, an android, so yeah, she can do very strange things, and later you might see her using some chainsaws and stuff. But um, yeah, no, I find Elisa to be one of the more annoying characters, so yeah, rage is imminent in this match, so just don't be surprised. And right now, this match is actually a two bar one, so it was lagging, but well, there was quite a big button delay, but it wasn't as bad as the previous matches, so... I managed to play half decently, but again, I tried to keep it safe with the lower combos. And now I am being chainsawed in the corner. Lovely. Now, as you've probably seen already, or if you haven't, more will be coming up, but Elisa is quite a quick fighter and she can use, like, jetpacks and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, like, just now where I kicked her back down to the ground, but... Again, she can use like jetpacks and rockets on her kicks, so it makes her kicks more powerful and faster. And she can be quite tricky because there's one particular combo that actually hits like I think it hits high, then it hits low, then it hits high again. So it's a bit of a mix-up, and you have to be on your guard with your guarding. Psst, yeah, no, no pun intended. But um, yeah, no, she can be quite tricky. Uh, right now, I actually went quite offensively. Um, well, both of us were quite offensive at the time, so I'm, you'll notice I'm getting a lot of free hits where this person's just, you know, charging forward and not really blocking, not really caring about the offense. I mean, there, look, I was one hit shy of a perfect. But, um, anyway, close match, final round. It's gonna happen. And I finally actually pulled this one off. I'm quite surprised because I, it's usually really bad connection. But again, when you've got offensive players like this, I think the best method is you know just to be smart, be a bit play a bit defensive, but a bit offensive as well. Because since they're just you know pounding out all those attacks, they'll they probably won't be guarding the majority of the time. So just try and wait for an opening. It, well, probably won't be too difficult. But um, as you can see now. <laughs> managed to use the jump, the jump slam. The person was just so eager to keep getting hits on me, even though waiting would have been the best option, that he just completely left himself off guard, and I was actually planning to roll and then kick, so yeah, it helped me a bit. But anyhow, that's that match over, and oh god, look at that, another Elisa player. Great to see, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh look, and if that wasn't good enough, it's a one bar connection. Wow. So anyhow, I tried to redo the King uh, grapple move again, and that was like the German suplex move. But nope, I failed again because my controller disconnected just as I was trying to pull it off, just like last time. And you would have thought by then I would have just given up, but nope, I'm still trying to do it. But um, yeah, no, as I was saying last time, I thought my controller was broken, but it's actually just the battery placement. It's a bit a bit loose so any small touch will actually cause it to just pretty much uh, disconnect but anyhow this Elisa player um, I have to admit I think they were spamming quite a bit I mean you saw that time when my controller disconnected the person didn't even try and switch up their moveset they were just you know hit hitting the same uh, medium attack and obviously all of the hits were just passing me so Again, I'm not really going to complain though because my battery was out, so yeah, that was pretty good for me, but uh, whatever. So this is quite a lovely stage actually, I can't remember the name of this stage, but I just love the water reflection. I mean, I remember at the time it was just, the graphics were so great. 
But um, yeah, it's just lovely, lovely to look at. And the music is nice and calming, I guess, so... <laughs> yeah, well, not, not your standard high-action music, but, you know, I think this music, it works quite well. Works quite well. And as I described the, mu the music, I'm getting beaten around the place. But, um... Yeah, no, I thought I could do a comeback there. The person was getting much, much more aggressive, and... Again, I was just getting so impatient. It's like, when I was constantly getting hit, I just wanted to, you know, go and attack back, but obviously that wasn't the best thing to do. I should have played in a more defensive style, but... Anyway, next round. Not off to a very good start. We're about even at the moment, because she managed to get a few hits, and then I managed to capitalise on that, on, um, sorry, on his lack of offensive game, play, game style, rather. Um, not too bad. <laughs> and it just went all downhill at one, sec one point. I just completely lost it. The person went berserk, and I lost. <laughs> oh god. It's another annoying grab. Now, I don't, I don't think I really explained the grabs. Um, to initiate a grab in Tekken, you can press um, A and X, or for PlayStation it should be X and Square, and also I believe it is... Uh, y and B for another type of grab for some characters, or triangle and circle for PlayStation. And they pretty much all do the same amount of damage, but it's just more more so the style of the moves, and one of Elise's moves is just so annoying <laughs> when you're on the receiving end of it. But um, no, not too much trouble, so I managed to take her out. And now I am finally playing as Raven, my final character that I use most of the time. And I was a bit rusty with him, but I thought I'd do it anyway. And I also jumped into rank ranked mode, so yeah, this match is a bit more important. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I just realised I've this is the third female character I've faced today. You know, no, I'm I'm not a girl beater. I promise you that. But, um, no, it's just a just a coincidence, I guess. So anyway, with Raven, well, Raven is, is like a ninja, and he also has quite a tricky move set, as you'll see with the. Uh, upward kicks, the downwards kicks, and you can do like a little ninja after, I don't know, like an after effect move or something like that, where he sort of multiplies if you use certain moves, and I just think it's good for confusing the opponent. I mean, it's not too difficult to block, all you have to do is pretty much stand still, but um, no, it can be very, very tricky for the opponent, especially if you're seeing it for the first time, so just be wary of that if you're facing a Raven player. And I don't really know why I'm exposing his weaknesses, but um, anyway. And this girl um, is actually called, I think it's Zhao Yu, actually. I know when I was younger I didn't have a clue how to pronounce her name, but I just called her that, that woman, that girl with the panda. But um, anyway, no, Zhao Yu. Uh, she's got quite a quite a diverse set of moves. She's got like a low, lower stance, higher stance and such. And she's generally not too difficult as long as you as long as you're able to consistently block high and low. So, um, yeah, but this time now, I'm just get, you can see me just getting absolutely pummeled. Not too bad. Um, <laughs> I love that move, that After Effect move. But, um, again, try not to use it too, too often. And there, I completely took advantage of her weakness. She completely left herself open on lower, and she tried to go for a high kick, but um, it wasn't too bad. So there we go, those are all three of my matches today. Um, if you enjoyed watching this, please like, comment and subscribe, and there will be more fighting game footage to come. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you later. Peace out.